Hello. Yes, hello, buddy. Get off. That's my biscuit. <laughs> it's my biscuit. Get off. Hello. Yeah, and you as well. What's up, guys? <laughs> um, today's a bit of a weird day because Mrs. P's at home. Uh, and she's not normally. She's normally working, but moving forward, she's gone down to four days a week, which means <laughs> she gets Fridays off. Um, which is lovely because we get to spend some quality time together. Uh, get off, that is my biscuit. Get off my biscuit. Uh, and you know, walk the dogs together and stuff like that. But on the flip side, my routine goes out the window. I'm kind of here most of the time working from home. Uh, today, you know, the radio keeps going off at random moments. Um, you know, I'll be trying to work and she's making loads of noise in the background. She's been unpacking boxes and boxes of stuff stock for her shop today. So there's been chaos going on around here um, whilst I've been trying to focus on stuff. And the stuff I've been trying to focus on Dude. has been mm. Formula E because tonight, uh, well, yeah, it is tonight. I mean, it's tomorrow in, in effect. It's Saturday. The race is in Formula E always on Saturday, but it's actually in the middle of the night because the race is coming from China. So we're back in mainland China for uh, the first time since Beijing, of course. And uh, it's a brand new racetrack in Sanya. And so, as I often do, I'll be commentating on the race uh, on Formula E radio, which you can listen to either through the Formula E website uh, or through BBC uh, Radio 5 Live Sports Extra. Now, I know it's in the middle of the night, but in the UK, but if you are uh, up and about for any reason or if you just can't sleep, you too, shush. Or even if you just can't sleep, pop us on, listen to us, pop some headphones in. Uh, listen to the race because I suspect it's going to be quite a good one. I've been doing my, some of my research this morning. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting circuit. It's got long straights. It's a bit more like a typical circuit. It's got some long straights but uh, some nice selection of corners, some quite narrow areas. The attack mode zone, attack mode activation zone rather, is in quite a good spot. So it's right around the outside of turn three. So you'll lose a considerable amount of time by going offline to activate your attack mode. Uh, and that's what it should be like. That allows you to potentially, you know, have to comp have to compromise your track position. So potentially lose a place on the circuit to activate attack mode, but then you get it activated for a, a period of time. And on this particular circuit, it looks like there's a number of places where you could use that to get past again. So I'm hoping for a, quite an interesting race. It's going to be quite energy uh, demanding this track. So that's also good because the best races are ones where there's different strategy going on, where people are having to save energy at different parts of the race. And generally what happens is you get a mixture of strategies that then converge towards the end of the race. And wherever people have been in the last 10 laps, it starts to really narrow in, focus in towards the end, the last lap of the race. And that's often where the most dramatic things happen. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I've got a call time at the studio of 2 a.m., <laughs> which is crazy uh, because we then go right through the night, essentially. I think we'll be off air at about 9.30. Uh, sorry, about 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, something like that. Um, so a crazy schedule. And in the meantime of that, before I go to the studio, I'm actually going to Wembley tonight to watch England play the Czech Republic, which I can't wait for. Come on, England! I'm taking Rex um, and one of my best mates, and Claire. Uh, we're going to watch the game. Uh, it's Rex's first kind of big football match that he's ever been to, so he's going to be blown away by that experience, and I'm really looking forward to it too. Um, so before that, because I'll come from the football pretty much straight into the, the studios, more or less, uh, for Formula E, I am actually now going to go and have a lie down and try and get a little bit of sleep so that I'm not falling asleep when we're on air uh, in the early hours of the morning. <laughs> so I will catch you later. I'll talk you through the rest of the day. You probably won't see this video until Saturday or Sunday by the time I've recovered. Um, but I'm going to take try and bring you on part of this journey with me. Uh, not the bit where I go to sleep now, but everything else after that. <laughs> Ta-da! Right, just been to bed for two hours. Did not sleep a wink. Um, I just can't sleep during the day. I don't know about you, but I just can't do it. Uh, anyway, so now I'm going to go for a run. See if that will <laughs> wake me back up again. <laughs> <laughs> 
so we made it to Wembley. We are a little bit late, we're just about going to make it to kick off, but Rex is mega excited, and so am I. Come on, England! Amazing night of the football. We won 5 0. It's now nearly half past midnight, and in half an hour's time, I've got a taxi coming to take me into the studio to go and do the radio show for Formula E. Utter madness. Right, 1.45 a.m. Uh, I already feel like I desperately want to go to sleep and we haven't even started yet. We're not on, hour for, on air for another hour and a half, I think, for qualifying. But I did, at the last minute, as I was leaving the house, decide that there was one thing I couldn't leave home without to keep me going throughout the night. I mean, come on, you don't seriously expect me to turn up at work at 1.45 and probably not leave till 9.15, 9.30 a.m. without a proper, strong, decent coffee. You're joking, aren't you? <laughs> Good morning. Hello. What is this? Uh, well, I don't know where I can go through to 9 a.m. without a proper coffee. So I've got a coffee machine in. Yeah, machine. <laughs> oh my goodness, you hero. Yeah. Yeah, I know what the coffee's like here, it's terrible. Wow! Uh, right, qualifying is done. Uh, it is now... It's quarter to five in the morning now. This is ridiculous, honestly. Such a bizarre uh, time frame that we're on here. Um, quarter to five in the morning, qualifying done. We've now, though, got... Uh, I think about an hour and a half before we're back on air for the race. Um, and so I'm kind of looking at these these sofas here uh, as a place to have a little nap. They're not, they're definitely not big enough. Smashed it, the coffee machine has been a big hit uh, with everybody, so much so I'm nearly out of coffee beans. Look, bought my own grinder and everything. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to save that for when we come back because I do need to find somewhere to have a lie down because I uh, literally haven't slept for quite some time now. Um, pretty decent qualifying session. Uh, it's Oliver Rowland on pole. Uh, British lad, Ollie Rowland. So that was a, a surprise, I guess, because some of the main contenders um, just didn't make it, didn't make it across the line, did not. Oi, get off that sofa. Hey! Uh, Tom Gaymore's nicked the only sofa <laughs> in the building. This is the fight for Super Bowl right here. And I'm on pole position. Oh, no, I can't believe it. Uh, right, I'm going to find another comfy spot. <laughs> Right, 6.30, uh, 6.30 a.m. now, and uh, we are on air in about 10, well, 15 minutes, so back into the studio for the final push. Have you? Yeah, I've just got an email. Do you want me to print it off for you? Uh, 
So this is where it all happens. Tom Gaymore, just here. Claire Cottingham, ah. just here. Hi. <laughs> so loose, huh? <laughs> uh, final push now, and then we can all go back to bed. <laughs> um, right, quickly let's run through the order because it is still Roland out in front where he started from pole position. Vern lined up behind him on the grid, still lines up behind him, but all over the back of that Nissan car. De Costa behind We're done. Him. We're done. Well done, guys. Well done, everybody. We're all off to bed. Not together, but we're all up to bed <laughs> to get some sleep. Don't <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> spread rumours. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go and say goodbye to these guys. God, that was a long sesh. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well done, everybody. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Cheers, guys. Bye. See you later, Claire. Bye. Bye. Uh, Bye. Right, that was epic. An epic night shift. Um, so tired right now. <laughs> uh, the race was good, although I have to say it was disappointing that it ended under uh, full course yellow. We were robbed of the last lap drama that we normally get. But other than that, plenty to talk about. Well worth watching the highlights if you haven't seen it already. Ta-da, folks.